And I'd like to now introduce Mitzi Hunter. Mitzi is the CEO of Civic Action, a multi-sectorial multi coalition of senior businesses, nonprofit, government, and community leaders formed to galvanize action around issues and big opportunities facing the Toronto region. Civic Action's current initiatives are aimed at making the Toronto region flourish through environmental action and innovation, creating, also creating a leadership landscape that better reflects the region's diversity. I know there are a lot of people here from the various diversity organizations, um, and also connecting and supporting rising city builders. Mitzi joined Civic Action from her previous role as Chief Administrative Officer for Toronto Community Housing. She has held executive roles at Goodwill, Smart Toronto, and Bell Canada. She is committed to building a vibrant city and is actively involved in her community and has held, held governance positions in a number of nonprofit organizations. And she's also a graduate of U of T's Rotman School of Business. So welcome, Mitzi, and she's going to introduce the panel. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Well, we're going to have, um, as Kay and uh, Karen has said, a really intellectually stimulating conversation this morning. I am so excited uh, to be part of this discussion and to be, um, to be part of this panel because these are people that I highly respect and I've watched for many, many years. Um, I have uh, I've worked in corporate settings, I've worked in nonprofit settings, and I've worked in municipal government. But what I've known to be true, it's really the convergence and the combination um, of efforts that really creates true and meaningful change. Um, and uh, and really, I know we, we talk about different uh, sectors and the third sector, the fourth sector now, but really it's bringing together all of those aspects that truly transforms um, community. And uh, there's one woman that I have watched for almost two decades doing that, and that's Kay Blair, um, uh, your leader. So I just want to say congratulations, Kay, on your efforts and the work that you have been doing over the years. So, um, as, uh, as Karen said, I'm Mitzi Hunter. I'm the CEO of the Greater Toronto Civic Action Alliance. And uh, many people may know our organization by its former name, the Toronto City Summit Alliance, which it was formed in 2002 by our chair, um, uh, David Pico, and our current chair, John Tory, um, leads, uh, leads the charge. And we bring together uh, multi-stakeholders and what we call the unusual suspects. And uh, we bring these individuals together because we believe that it is the collective effort that uh, will uh, make a difference and that will transform the Toronto region. One of the best examples, I was thinking about an example of our work that I can think of, is our Fellows Program. And our Fellows is a leadership program that combines uh, rising leadership with uh, city building. And it's an intensive uh, program for one year. Each year we select around 25 individuals. Um, um, to participate in this initiative. And I'm very pleased, I believe uh, one or two fellows are here this morning, if you could wave or shout, okay, hello, there's uh, Noreen and uh, Nora, and there's three fellows in the room this morning, so welcome. And uh, through our fellows program, um, it really is about uh, creating cross-sectoral uh, collaboration. Um, there are people who come from nonprofits, from government, and from community. Um, in fact, uh, some of the organizations uh, that we work with, such as Accenture, KPMG, Cisco, and Purolator, are all also here today. And uh, I understand that one of the board members of MicroSkills was also a fellow as well. Um, so uh, these are individuals that are out there and that are transforming um, communities. And, and really, that is the only way it happens. It's really by the efforts of, of people. 
So as, uh, as the CEO of, of Civic Action, I really have an incredible job. I get to work with, um, with community and to really build um, a, a Toronto region that has thriving people and uh, thriving places. Social innovation is at the core of much of the work that we do at, uh, at Civic Action. We refer to, to our work as a do tank versus a think tank. And, uh, and that's because we need new innovative ideas and innovative thinking. So Karen, like you, I looked up the definition of social innovation on the web. And um, I, I did also look at the, uh, the Wikipedia definition, but I also looked at the Center for Social Innovation. And so I just wanted to put that out there so that um, we can start on the same page. I don't think we're gonna finish on the same page because I know the panel members are gonna take this definition and turn it into their own. But social, social innovation um, can be defined as it refers to new ideas that resolve existing social, cultural, economic, and environmental challenges for the benefits of people and planet. Um, it's a, tr a true social innovation is a system changing, permanently altering the perceptions, behaviors, and structures that previously gave rise to these challenges. Even more simply, a social innovation is an idea that works for the public good. So can we accept that as our working definition this morning? Okay. So I'm so thrilled that in this room that we are dominated by the business community because the business community has a key role to play in social innovation and in, in transformation of our planet. So I think that it's incredible that MicroSkills has brought together um, this dynamic group of people. So we're all here to be social innovators. We are all here to be collaborators. And we're all here to drive meaningful change. And Darren, I think you have framed the day very well by saying that our dreams can become reality. So I would like to introduce to you our panel. And I will ask that they come up um, in turn as I introduce them. Um, and, uh, and they are going to give us examples of that change and how we can actually make those dreams come true.